In this video, we'll cover how to customize your toolbars. This is the second video of a three-part series covering workspace customization, so please check out the other videos if interested in learning more. We'll start with moving toolbars around. To rearrange toolbars, look for the small grey rectangle located either at the left-hand side of a toolbar or the top of a toolbar. This serves as the toolbar's handle. To rearrange toolbars, click and hold on this handle. This allows you to easily adjust your workspace. So let's drag this one down here, grab that grey rectangle again and drag it somewhere else. Let's drag it over here. You can also move workspace toolbars to be available at the right hand side of the screen. So drag the grey rectangle to move it and drag it to the right hand side of the screen and you can see it appears here. You can also drag it to the bottom and it will appear at the bottom. You can't drag it in between panels though. By default, only some of the toolbars are active. To add an inactive toolbar, right click on any toolbar area within the workspace, a context menu will appear, and from there you can select any of the toolbars you want to show and hide. So if I want to show the game toolbar, just click on that and it will appear. To hide it again, right click on the toolbar and reselect it. You'll notice that sometimes a panel has zero toolbars. So if you notice that is the case, so as an example, no view here right now has no toolbars, right click in this top area here where it's blank, right click and you have access to adding toolbars. Some panels don't have any toolbars. So layer properties, for instance, doesn't have access to any toolbars. There's no toolbars you can add to that panel. In Toon Boom Harmony, there are two distinct types of toolbars, workspace toolbars and view toolbars. Workspace toolbars are found outside of any panel, like these at the top and this one at the side. The other type is view toolbars. View toolbars can only exist within a single panel. View toolbars can only be moved within the current panel they're in. When adding a new toolbar, you'll notice there is a separation within your context menu. So these at the top and then these down here. The options at the top represent the toolbars that were last placed within that type of toolbar. To move a toolbar from one to another, you can't can't just drag it from a workspace toolbar to a view toolbar, it won't let you. Instead, you add it as if you're adding it from not being active at all. So for instance, if I want to move deformation from a workspace toolbar to a view toolbar, I right click in where the view toolbars are and select the option that I want. So let's just pick deformation and you see it moves from up here to over here. If I want to put it back, select where you want and re-enable it. Note that some toolbars are only available within certain panels. For instance, your timeline view toolbar here can only be shown in the timeline. The camera view toolbar can only be shown in the camera view, etc. To create padding for your toolbar, drag your toolbar left or right. Additionally, if the toolbar is dragged to overlap with another, Harmony automatically hides the overlapped part and gives you this little arrow. If you click that, it will drop it down to show you the additional hidden buttons. To customize a toolbar, right click on that toolbar and at the bottom select customize. This list box on the left are options that aren't currently shown. This on the right is options that are in the toolbar. If you want to move one to the other, you can click any option on the left Click the arrow pointing over and it adds it to the toolbar. Click apply and you see it appears in the toolbar. Alternatively, if we don't want it, we can click it again in the right hand box and click the arrow pointing left and it will drag it into there and it will remove it. And if we click apply, you see it disappears. Now, if you want to change the order, we can click on any of the options in the right hand side and click up or down and that will change the ordering of it. Toolbars can also feature scripts as well, which is out of the scope of this video. Note that any functions that you write in a script can appear within a toolbar. The final option you can explore is the flat toolbar option. In your tools toolbar you have to hold your mouse down on each button to get more additional options but if you go to harmony preferences flat tool toolbar requires relaunch. If we select that and click ok and relaunch harmony you'll now notice that the tools toolbar has no overlapping options so everything is shown individually. You can customize it to show and hide different tools. You can only customize the tools toolbar when the flat toolbar option is enabled. You now know how to move and customize toolbars in Doom Boom Harmony. These adjustments allow you to personalize the software to your liking. Subscribe to see the rest of my Harmony tutorials.